Hi, this is Colleen Grotzer for Creative Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you some cool tips with a table of contents. Now, I'm going to assume that you know how to make a table of contents already in InDesign. Now, did you know that the table of contents feature can actually generate bookmarks for you in a PDF? Right from InDesign. If you don't know what bookmarks are, those are what you see when you open the bookmarks panel in Acrobat. They're clickable links. Creating the bookmarks in InDesign saves you time as opposed to creating them in a PDF. You know, because if you ever have to re-export the PDF, you'll have to redo all your bookmarks. The best part is that you don't even need to have a table of contents on a page in your InDesign document to do this. In this document, you can see I don't have a table of contents anywhere. So the first thing you want to do is create a text frame on the pasteboard. And then go to Layout and then Table of Contents Styles, select Edit, and make sure Create PDF Bookmarks is checked. Then go to Layout, Table of Contents, hit OK, and then click in the text frame on the pasteboard. Now, it doesn't matter that there's any overset text in this frame. It also doesn't matter what style it is. Then you want to export to PDF. I'm going to use Adobe PDF Interactive here. And we'll go ahead and export. Now, if you use the Adobe PDF Print Profile, make sure that Include Bookmarks is checked. And when you open the PDF in Acrobat, click on the toolbar on the left-hand side and select the bookmarks icon. Now you can see the bookmarks that the table of contents generated. And we can click them and go to all these different parts of the document. Then we can set them to always show when someone opens the PDF. So we go to File and then Properties and then to Initial View and then next to the Navigation tab, select Bookmarks Panel and Page and then save the PDF. When you reopen it, the bookmarks will automatically show. Okay, so on to my next tip. Let's say we need to generate bookmarks in the PDF. Well, first here, I'm gonna get rid of all of these bookmarks by shift clicking them. Going back to the left-hand toolbar, select the bookmarks icon, and then in the menu in that panel, select new bookmarks from structure. You can select which paragraph styles that you want included. And these are the styles from InDesign. In this case, I'm selecting multiple styles by holding down Option on the Mac, which would be Control on Windows, and then click OK. The bookmarks now appear in an untitled bookmark. You can select them all and then drag them out from under that. And for some reason, it's not dragging them all. <laughs> And if you wanted to, you could reorder them, but they're already in the order that they appear in the document. And you could nest them if you wanted to as well, like it gave us the untitled bookmark with the nested bookmarks. Okay, so now we're just going to delete that untitled bookmark. Now, this didn't add one for the cover because I included H2 styles, my subheading styles. So I can either go back into that menu and select the option to add that style which is an H1 style, or I can manually select the text that I want to have for a bookmark, or I can just create the bookmark manually. Create new bookmark and then put whatever text I want there and then move it where I need it. So for my next tip, we can add bookmarks manually, but by selecting text. So I'm going to delete all of these. And now you can go through your document. You can highlight the text that you want to use as a bookmark. So client background is a heading. Select that and click new bookmark and there's our bookmark with that text. And you can then go through and do this for any sections or headings that you want to add in your, from your document. Now did you know that you can create multiple tables of contents in a single document? You can! I've worked on large reports that have had three tables of contents. The main one for the entire document and then two others for subsections. And other potential uses could be an alphabetical listing of authors or of articles. To do this, go to Layout and then Tables of Contents Styles. Select New and then set up the styles for that new table of contents. Now, I've already created another table of contents, so I'm not going to create another one here. But what you'll need to do in this dialog box is uncheck Replace Existing Table of Contents. and then hit OK, and then hit OK again. And then when you go back to create that table of contents and insert it somewhere in the file, 
you'll go to layout and then table of contents and choose the table of contents that you want to insert there. So I'm putting the one table of contents here on page three, I'm putting the second table of contents on page 11. So I'm gonna select that one this time. So that's how you do it. I hope this was helpful and that you found out a lot of cool tips and tricks about tables of contents.